I think we're just getting started. Hey guys, welcome to the third assembly tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering player characteristics, armor abilities, and uh, a certain elements that you can change to make your character not only uh, be in third person, but also elements in the HUD, how to change your reticle, all that and more in this video. So uh, strap in. Alright, go ahead and open up assembly. We're going to open up our Forge Halo map. We're going to go to Tags, and we are going to find Matt G or Globals. Go ahead and open up that. You're going to you're going to need that. So I figured we'd go ahead and start this video by opening up every tag that we will need for it. So then, if you will find equipment, you're going to need to get the jetpack, and you're going to need to get the sprint armor abilities, and then you need to type in Sea HUD globals definition so let's get started with player characteristics uh, if you're familiar with the Halo series you know that you're a, a super soldier and yet you move like you're a snail so let's make our guy a little bit faster I want you to scroll down all the way until you see player information if you look up above where I am now, you'll find that there's player speed, there's player gravity. All these do not work in real-time injection. So for this, we are going to be changing these variables. You, these are pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not going to spend much time on this. You can see that if we... I'm going to revert that value back. I'm going to change my walking speed. You can see not much has changed, but if I change my run forward... much has changed. Uh, there's a s pretty significant change in that. I'm not going to go so extreme that it's bonkers, but I will for this value. Otherwise, if I did not change what I just did, my crouch speed would still be the same, regardless of what I set the run speed to. So there you go. All these mean what they say they are. All these entries, if you change this running sideways value, it's going to mean that you're able to turn faster you're, being, you're able to go to the side faster. This run acceleration basically means how fast does it take you to get to your maximum speed. So if we, you know, if this faster is, means you go faster. Onward. So in my last video, you probably noticed, the last tutorial, that I disabled parts of the HUD to um, actually make it easier for you guys to see what I was doing. You can do that here. Well, you can do parts of that here. Uh, this will not change everything on your HUD. This will only change like your shields, uh, your reticle, uh, well, parts of your reticle, and other stuff like that. This is not a end-all um, HUD changer. But let's say I wanted to change my reticle, or add, rather, a second reticle, uh, a machine gun turret, then I could do that. You can see that I have the uh, actual turret reticle there. If I want to change my HUD as a Spartan to an Elite, I can do that. And if I didn't want any of those elements at all, I could just null it out by pressing this. I'm going to revert back to the Spartan because we're going to need it. So we've just covered the most basic player characteristics. There are others and other files that you can change. And you can change some of these right in here actually you can change things like your uh, your visor color, all those, but those are client side. You'll see other people will have a separate visor color in this case, um, but they will not see that change. So you have to keep in mind that some things are client and some things are server side when you are making these changes. And there are ways to, to do that, uh, but uh, for this, in the most simplest case we're gonna be talking about today, we're not gonna be going over that. Now, Let's go over to Globals. This is your primary HUD color. This is your foreground. So if we change this color right here, we apply that change, you can see that my HUD now has a light shade of green. I'll try to get to this a neutral color here so you can see my HUD. You can see that I have some green in my shields. If I change the foreground to black, I apply that change. You now see that I have some black in my HUD and actually, if I did black and red, that would look really, really cool. So I'm actually going to do that and show you guys what that looks like. Oh yeah, 
see I, I like I like that high contrast dark look with some of the blue HUD and so all of these are exactly what they say they are you can change these as you want you can see that you you know you it, it is what it says it is if I change the hostile reticle instead of red to yellow then when I look at an enemy instead of that reticle going to red it will go to yellow so that is how you change your HUD colors now how do we make ourselves in uh, a third person character rather than a first person. Now, I know I'm going a little bit fast here, but I just, I've got so much I want to show you all in this episode, and I was going to do it in two parts, but I thought, boy, I can put it in one. And so that's what I ended up doing. So if you will, open up the assault rifle tag under weapon, or the assault rifle uh, object under weapon, and I want you to go down to first person model. If you can do this two ways, you can either download a mod that allows you to um, to uh, pick up any weapon and you will already be in third person but that is done um, oh, sorry not first person model I went to, to go to uh, weapon uh, and the flags for weapons let's see I might I went far I'm sorry guys go till you see weapon and it's gonna be a tab weapon and go to flags and like I was saying you can either download a mod that does this or you can do this yourself but if you want to have third person characteristics or third person camera for every um, gun then you just go there and you do it now unlike uh, games where textures and sounds and special effects are added into a separate uh, folder and then it calls those reference uh, references into being during a mission or level Halo is actually it kind of includes things it kind of pre-assembles things uh, already for a particular mission or level so you have to do that whether you're on campaign whether you're on firefight or forge world uh, to apply to everything but if you're only using say an assault rifle a DMR a magnum and a shotgun for a particular game mode or a map then you would only need to apply that to those weapons otherwise when you switch to your secondary you will then revert back into first person mode so if you will go ahead and open up jetpack.equipment and you're going to go to, you're going to want to observe something for me because we're going to be coming back to this. I want you to look at this equipment tag. Now, this this palette, this uh, classification, this grouping here, is going to be the same for every single armor ability that you use for the most part. The numbers are probably different, different, um, but that is this is where you'll come to when you want to make changes to the DK, the recharge, total energy amounts, etc. And then below this, there will be a specific tab for the jetpack, and that will be the same for almost every other armor or ability. But let's say we want to make the jetpack a little bit different. We want to do an overhaul. We want to basically force the user to think about how they use the jetpack. So active energy use amount. Let's say we have a quantum accelerator in our little jetpack and that we're able to sustain energy forever. Let's also say that the recharge rate is pretty much instant. So we're going to use a ridiculous number to achieve that effect. But, like I said, we want the user to be thinking uh, more careful about how they use the jetpack. And so we're going to make the initial energy amount 0.33 and then we're going to set a 10 unit delay in recharge and I say unit really you can think if this for this instance this is seconds but all these are units and then they have a, um, a, a output assigned to them and that output has a desired um, unit so that unit could be seconds it could be degrees it could be radians uh, a lot of this stuff uses the uh, uses a coordinate system so uh, a lot of times you'll get XYZs and that is in you know actual units in terms of distance so I'm going to spawn a jetpack and it's always good to um, and when you're dealing with some things it's good to spawn them in to respawn them uh, otherwise they can be buggy or maybe the, if, uh, the effect won't appear at all so there you go I have an infinite charge in my jetpack I also use about 33% of the total energy available to me every time that I go to use it. 
So now that I've stopped using it, there should be about a 10 second delay before it's ready to go up again. And I'm waiting, and it's charged up. And I can go again. So that's how you change the, dur the duration, the decay, the recharge, or recharge delay. Uh, again, very basic, but that is how you do it. Now let's go to the actual jetpack characteristics. This is a downforce, so how fast or how much force is there when you're falling? Vertical force, how much force do you have or how much acceleration do you have when you're going up? Airtime, and this is going to really confuse you guys. I, it confuses me, so it's going to confuse you. Terminal velocity time, this can also be... Uh, see, this is a recipient of this. And this is a recipient of this and if you change this you change that you change this you change that if you change this drastically well then this doesn't even matter anymore and if you change this to where it's so high that you couldn't even comprehend the number that you inputted then why would there even need to be downforce what i'm saying is if you change one thing you inadvertently change another it's the, uh, the, uh, the, the equation for everything right uh, the state of the atmosphere equals the state uh, the hydrosphere equals the state of a cryosphere equals the state of the lithosphere. Finals week, man, I'm telling you. Anyways, if you want to change this, let's say we want our vertical force to be 2.5, right? And you want your uh, downforce when falling to be 5. So we're going to make a, a sharper take up. Yeah, there it goes. So I went slightly faster, but I'm going down pretty hard. Oh, that could have killed me. Well, let's change our vertical force really crazy now. Whee! There you go. And if I had to guess, I'm probably going to make this the, uh, what's it called? Click bait? Click art? Thumbnail? Thumbnail. Thumbnail. I'll probably make that the thumbnail. So if you guys clicked on this because of that, let me know, because if you did, then it knows I know how to do a clip art thumbnail. I'm just trying to do stand-up at this point, and I really shouldn't. If you want to change sprint, right, you want to make a guy faster. He's a super soldier, Crimson. Why can't we just make him run like Usain Bolt, you know? It's 2,500. Okay, we can do it. And can we run forever? Sure. And what about the, yeah, 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 I know, you don't want a recharge delay. So that's how we do it, All right? Let me spawn in the little sprint. Here comes big boy for the little sprint, and look. I'm not using my armor ability. I can do this all day. But I'm not running any faster. And yes, we are running faster, but that is because of the initial value that we changed in globals. Yes, you even run faster. In fact, you have a multiplier in globals. And this is might throw off some of you. Um, hopefully it won't. But it is located in globals, and I went way too far. We're not even ready for that stuff. Uh, if you go down, you will find Sprint. I'm about 45% on my scroll bar. This is basic. Think of this value as a multiplier. Think of it as we're going 1.6 times faster when we're activating Sprint. We can change this to 0.2. Because we're already going fast, I want to demonstrate. Look at that. We instantly slow down. So that is a multiplier, and I wanted to, sh to show that off. But now I can do this. And I'm going to get way back here. So uh, that's how you change sprint. And uh, you didn't think I was actually going to let myself die, did you? That's how you do that. So, you would think that Sprint would be in the Sprint uh, tab here, but it's actually not. And that kind of threw me off at first because I spent forever looking for it. And I was like, oh, it's right in front of me in Globals, you idiot. Anyways, that's how you do it. For the most, for the most part, the other armor abilities will be located in their actual tab. The, uh, um, the other armor abilities are actually pretty much basic. Everything else has been assigned to them. But Jetpack does give you a little bit of customization. But... Uh, that is the basics on how to change equipment settings. I know this video has been rather long, but we, if you think about it, you've gone from personalization of your HUD, you've learned how to make yourself a third person character, you've learned how to change your equipment usage and 
your your reticle and did I say if you learned how to change your reticle I mean think of like you could do some serious stuff with that man like you can make some like red predator stuff and like Call of Duty crap and CSGO I know there's probably some CSGO people here Ugh. anyways hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments below have a good one Merry Christmas